Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbeck. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here's your weekly technical analysis of Kansas City and Minneapolis wheat markets. Kansas City wheat. There's a lot going on here within a fairly narrow piece of action. Not in market price movement, but in the narrow piece of market angle of attack. To explain, four weeks ago, I highlighted a new feature I saw here. Looking at the action since August, I saw a possible descending expanding wedge pattern, currently 563 to 668, which is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. This is not the best example of such a pattern, but as I said two weeks ago, and I quote, it does hold merit, and I would look to this pattern for some immediate idea of the move downwards, end of quote. Well, it did, does hold merit, but I have also seen the development of two new patterns, one of which involves the descending expanding wedge pattern, so, if we utilize the lower trend line, currently at 563, highlighted in dark blue, of the descending wedge pattern, and then the upper trend line, which you can see as the higher of the two dark green trend lines, currently at 620, well, we have a bare channel within the original descending expanding wedge pattern. Then again, if we look purely at the upper and lower green trend lines, currently 598 to 620, we have a descending wedge pattern once again within the original descending expanding wedge pattern. I really hope I've been ably explaining what my thoughts are and also the three main patterns that are driving this. But if not, then please replay this and, and make some notes or listen more carefully. I'm not sure really what I can do other than that. Uh, last week we had an attempted break lower out of the green descending triangle, but which failed and failed somewhat spectacularly with a weekly key reversal up that punched up right through the descending wedge pattern closing above it and just over the January 2015 high at 546. This week we have seen the consolidation of the January 2015 high and the penetration of the upper trend line of the descending wedge pattern. This move higher raised some potentials topside and a question. The potentials are for the descending wedge pattern with a primary target X in the 721 area and a secondary hard reach target X1 in the 775 area. The question it raises is whether the move higher stimulates the action since mid-August into a being a descending scallop pattern or not. The answer to this is still unobtainable as yet, but I'll be watching closely to see if the market action fits that bill. All this is of course is dependent on what and how far the market will rise, should it rise topside. We have the 50% Fibonacci on the big 2011-2019 move at 691, and the 50% absolute Fibonacci on 697. Oh, well, their support on the way down was limited, so I'm unsure how good a resistance they may become. It may be left up to the declining medium moving average currently at 712, and the December 2014 high at 707 to perhaps show some resistance in any rise. But if prices continue rising as far as the June 2014 high and the 2022 low combination at 748, well then the idea of a descending scallop pattern will need to be reappraised. But a lot needs to happen first before seriously starting thinking about that far up. And a lot needs to happen if we are actually breaking out of the descending expanding wedge pattern. Yes, we are out of the triangle. There could be a false break on the upside, but we're not out of the descending expanding wedge pattern. Minneapolis wheat. Now compared to Chicago or Kansas City, Minneapolis wheat had been somewhat easier to read in the past with respect to what was going on and what the opportunities might be. This is no longer necessarily the case, um, but it still has its moments. In late February, and especially at the start of April, so that's just outside the parameters of my daily chart, the market constructed a large bear channel that morphed into what we now see highlighted in dark blue in my daily chart. The descending expanding wedge pattern, currently 800 on the top side down to well off the bottom of my daily chart. This actually originated from December last year, but only really became evident from February this year. The upper trend line has been escorted and reinforced in the past, sort of, by the declining medium moving average, currently 777, which when combined together, helped cap the market back in very early April, then mid-April, mid-May, and mid to late June. However, in mid-July, the attempts higher resulted in the clear break above the upper trend line, 
and also the important declining long moving average currently at 8.11. Prices climbed rapidly up to the 50% Fibonacci line of the significant August 2020 to May 2022 move at 9.55 where the rally petered out and turned back down. It is this turn back down that has captured my attention as the market had since late July till mid-September formed a descending scallop pattern. Not only that, but since mid-September the market formed the crucial ski jump of this descending scallop pattern and from the start of October it started on its subsequent journey lower to potential targets below for such a pattern. Thus a primary target X for such a pattern was in the 708 zone with a secondary harder to reach target X1 down in the 689 zone. Last week the market punched down through the recent 737-724 congestion zone down into the next congestion zone below which is between 693 and 708 thus reaching the primary target but finding itself overextended and reverting back up. The move higher then has stalled at the overhead declining short medium moving average currently at 742 which is highlighted in green on my daily chart. This moving average has been an effective cap on the market since mid-October. Not tested, but effective nevertheless. The test this week led to a daily key reversal down and bearish Harami combination, which hasn't been followed through as such. So the question as to whether the move lower is still being debated. As to the move higher with the short medium moving average ahead, well, that's not really a question at the moment. I'd now like to highlight a newer pattern, one that I spotted five weeks ago. It is the nascent late August to date bear channel highlighted in bright red on my daily chart, currently at 666 to 762. This pattern is still operational and I once again note that we have a smaller bear, chat, pa a smaller bear pattern nestled within a larger one, much like a Russian doll. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.